Okay, everybody, this is Moody Dashcam. We are in the city right now, in New York City, Manhattan. And this is kind of like a lights, lights and sights tour, holiday Christmas lights and sights. Yep, we're gonna start off the video with a right from the middle lane. That's how we do it. All right, we're gonna be stopping at a bunch of different spots. I don't know exactly which spots yet. There's a lot to see in the city. Uh, first spot we're going to is Bryant Park. Bryant with a T. Um, there's a cool, they do a cool holiday shop over there where they like let small businesses have a chance to um, put up a shop where a lot of people come, a really big attraction in the city. So it's a cool little spot. So I'm going to be fast forwarding a lot of this video because there's traffic and I will uh, talk to you when we get there. This is Bryant Park on the left here. You'll be able to see a lot of these holiday shops. Do I get out? Do I get out and walk through the shops for you guys? There's no one to park this truck, this hulking truck. Alright, let's turn, let's see. We can only go straight here. We're gonna be doing a lot of like back and forth down streets to get the right angles of everything. Because Manhattan is a is a shit show. Let's be real here. No need to sugarcoat it. snake through Times Square, which uh, generally you avoid at all costs when you're driving or walking, to be honest. But hey, it's for the video. It's funny, I told my dad I was going to the city to film Christmas lights and he said why I said we're just too used to the city it's interesting people like to see it he was like oh yeah I guess it is cool Wow, 
wow, you don't normally see a cop flying like that in the city. You do see them moving quick, but that was wild. He actually almost lost control there. He's driving that thing like it's a like it's not a Ford Taurus that has too many miles on it. Something, something serious must be going on. But there's always something going on. There's too many people here. I might just put this out as an unedited driving around the city tour. It's gonna be long. It's gonna be a long video. I was gonna make a right onto Broadway, I can't. Oh my god, no. They changed the, the street signs and, and the street rules every other day in the city. I wanted to go down Broadway. Little do we know, it's now a spot to sit and eat. All right, not a big deal. We're gonna be passing Bryant Park again, down on the other side. See on the left here, these new, um, I see, I get my finger here, all right, there we go. These new, I don't know what you call them, construction type posts they were never that pretty that's like a new thing as of a couple years ago not even a couple years ago like this year kind of they were always green or just regular metal steel gray color with a green top plywood green top and they finally updated them to make them look kind of nice there's like lights in there they have a little bit of style to them it's about time they've been like that since i, I don't even know i don't even we have Bryant Park on the left here. Um, there's about 170 shops in there. It, you have to be making a million dollars or less annually a year. That's technically a small business for their standards. Um, it's a free ice skating rink. It's like one of the last free things you can do in the city. Kind of crazy, but that's you just have to bring your own skates. Um, and there's a lot of food in there. So it's a cool little, cool little experience. try and swing past Grand Central Terminal. They do a cool little... I always call it Grand Central Station, but I guess the, the, the correct is uh, Grand Central Terminal. So we're going to swing over there. We're going to be crossing over 5th Avenue, which is uh, Saks 5th Avenue. We'll be going down that. We have the famous biggest Macy's in the world, biggest retail store in the world that is a Macy's. Um, 11 floors, crazy. Or uh, I read an article, or 10 and a half, depending on how you count it. Who gives a shit? It's 11 floors. That big building that was at the end of Bryant Park is the New York Public Library. It's like a city block long. I mean... The buildings. I still get surprised to this day. Not surprised, but still amazed to this day. And uh, the, the scale of New York City. Alright, I would like to... I'm going to snake around here and see what I can do, see what I can pull off. I'd like to drive straight at Grand Central Terminal, but I need to get on the right track for that, but I think I might be on the right track. I think I am. Drive up Park Avenue, yeah, we'll do a little loop. Right across the street over here. That is a museum, the AKC Museum of the Dog. Oh my God, it's all dogs. It's all pictures of dogs. It's all f clothing, furniture of dogs, bags. Wow, a whole building dedicated to the art of dogs. All right, Grand Central Terminal is like a, a jaw dropping moment here. Vanderbilt's built it in, I'll tell you when, 1871. I have a picture 
of, see that statue on the very top? I have a picture of a guy when they built that statue. It is the most crazy thing. You can't even understand how big that statue is. This is like a super famous roller mod right now. Super, super famous. At the Hyatt Hotel right here. So I'm driving the whole entire uh, circumference of this building. And so I said that with a question mark. Someone will correct me. You guys know the size of my truck, right? All right, we are out the other side now. Turning going down Lexington, we're going to be passing the Chrysler building, which at one point in 1930 when it was built, for 11 months after it was built, it was the tallest building in the world. Now it is the 11th tallest building in the world. We're going to be making a right onto this street right here, East 46th. Let's see how many, um, Landmarks we could hit in this one video. What do you guys think about the roads out here? My truck doesn't really like them. I can tell you that. This is Grand Central Terminal from another angle on the right. Of course we have a little bit of rain right now. I would love for there to be no rain, but you can't always get what you want. The Chrysler building is right here on the left. Without um, an aerial view, the Chrysler building doesn't look like anything. Unless you're like in a helicopter. You know, you know maybe, here we go. I'm gonna aim my camera up. I'm gonna pretend like I'm making a left here. I'm gonna make a left here. I tried to aim the camera up on my device and you couldn't see anything, so there goes that. Alright, next, next big landmark. We're going to go to St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's lit up very nice and so many people go here during the holidays since Christmas is a religious holiday and that is one of the most famous religious places, at least in New York. It's crazy. The, the property of St. Patrick's Cathedral, just the building itself, is two acres. Two acres of like... The whole building is like a piece of art. Technically, we're in Midtown East right now.
looks like they have one of the roads by St. Patrick's Cathedral shut down. No big deal. We will make our way around. We have to make a left on the East 51st Street. Just to put in perspective on how hectic it is driving in the city, I'm very used to driving, I drive all day long, but when I was younger, my friend's mother took us into the city to go, I think, to see the Intrepid, which is like an old battleship. It's very, very cool, actually. Um, and when we were in the city, she was a little bit like a, oh, that guy almost dropped that car, little dumpster. Um, she was a little bit of an odd lady, but she would make us not talk while she was driving the city because she wanted to focus. So it's no joke driving around here. Especially I couldn't imagine if you're from like a small town and then they just you get dropped in the city. So two million people come through St. Patrick's, Patrick's Cathedral during the holidays. This is it on the left. We can't even get the good view because the street is blocked off where the good view is. What a terrible, terrible thing. never understand someone that honks 10 cars back from the light when the light turns green. That's why it pays to have a motorcycle in the city, by the way. We're going to be passing Radio City Music Hall shortly. Oh, you know what? I gotta make, I gotta make a left here. I gotta make a left here. We're going to pass, what is that statue called? Atlas? To the left here on this corner is um this building right here. That is Rockefeller Center. That's where the tree is. All that good stuff. Can I even make a left here? Yes, I can. They're gonna let me. They're gonna have to. Please let me make a left. So the Atlas statue right there, I believe that's what's called. Correct me, please.
this is St. Patrick's Cathedral. Look at that. thing happens to the left right here this is Macy's those are the windows the holiday windows the Christmas windows whatever you want to call them very 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 famous this is Saks Fifth Avenue right here we just passed the tree I didn't take a picture or record which is great it'll be impossible to get back on this road you can see the crowds from the right going to see the tree A little bit mad at myself for that. Interestingly enough, uh, the Rockefeller Center tree, this is the 89th tree that's been there. What is this? another little Christmas landmark that um, I think it was a plane on the sidewalk all lit up garbage it's not New York City if you don't see a pile of garbage people that aren't from here don't realize this city um creates a lot of garbage. We are on 47th Street right now, which is known as the Diamond District. Um, this is one of the biggest diamond and gold and jewelry exchanges in the world right here. Uh, oh, that's Trax NYC to the left. He's, a, he's big on TikTok, that guy. Um, but yeah, this is... At any given day, there are undercover federal agents here looking for you, waiting for you to rob somebody, waiting for you to do something stupid, uh, all up and down this road. Um, this is the premier prime location to get anything jewelry related. Um, kind of in the world, you could get really anything here. I'm sure you could come here and get a, a ring that most people spend money on a ring that most people won't make in their lifetime here and be pretty safe too once you get a few blocks away from here it won't be so safe but as long as you're on this block you shouldn't have much of a problem this is a horse in front of us a horse and buggy yeah it's 2021 people we're still doing this they look pretty but it's ridiculous okay look at that some Christmas love here. Radio City Music Hall in front of us. We have the uh, Nutcracker over here, along with some other. I mean, the lights, people. I was saying before, one of the weird things about coming to the city with the GPS is your GPS does not work well in the city for some reason. I don't exactly know why. It'll tell you you're two streets over from where you are. It's another famous thing, attraction.
Yeah, I blew that light. And I'm blowing this one too. Another attraction. They all have names. You can look them up. Just for you guys, I'm going by the tree again. I'm going to get a goddamn picture. Oh, it's Santa. Oh, the Santa's talking to the kid. That's funny. That's good. I like to see stuff like that. Now, I would love to get a tour by this woman in front of us directing the horse because these people know the most about the city. Honestly. People that work here and are here every day and don't mess around. get when we turn around we almost missed the Cartier building that is wrapped like a present one of the staples of Christmas in New York City see what I'm saying here on the left it all used to be green like that on the top and what they do under now is much much nicer than what was ever done before. It just used to be steel tubing. You could do like pull-ups off of it. It was all dirty. Literally some of it was held together with duct tape. I'm not even joking around. Anyone from here knows what I'm talking about. Oh, what I was saying about Rockefeller Center before I get back over there. It's the 89th tree that was put up. Everyone knows the 900 pound Swarovski crystal, crystal star slash ball. I mean, what are we doing? We're a quarter mile away from the light. You're going to be honking behind me? What sense does that make? But, besides the point, don't get me off track here, people. Uh, started in 1931. Rockefeller Center workers pulled up some money at the height of the Great Depression, so, I mean, there wasn't a lot of money to go around. And they put up, just like as a community thing, they put up a tree, a 20-foot tree, and they decorated it with their families. And that's how the tradition started of this world-known tree that gets put up in the city every year. It's really crazy. I'll put up some pictures of them putting up the tree. I think it is the pictures are from 2018, but maybe this year too. A lot of the attractions were cut off last year because of, you know, the unspoken virus. Will we ever make it down this road? That's the big question. If I don't get a picture or a video of this tree, look at this building. Come on, look at this building. It's a giant present. It's a giant present. I 
I don't want to state the obvious, but it's a giant present. I'm behind a cop. That's a police officer. I've had to learn from driving over the years all the signs of an undercover cop car. I don't want to bore you with my knowledge. But there's a cop. Okay. We're going back by St. Patrick's Cathedral on the left. The good view. I'm going to get another video of that. Even though I got one before. Actually, no. I won't be getting another video. I'm focused only on Rockefeller Center. I'm in the right lane, as I should be. Putting my window down in preparation. That is St. Patrick's Cathedral. I don't care how many times you've seen it. That thing is a work of art, man. I can't believe that I caught that little show before. We were catching it now, too. It probably goes on every total guess here. 15 minutes, half an hour. Probably every, probably every 10 minutes. Can you hear it? Doesn't it make you feel like Christmas? I have people looking at me like I'm crazy. They can hear me talking to you guys. They don't know. They don't know that I bring the content. I'm in the bus lane for you. You hear that? I'm in the bus only lane. I don't play. That's an exclusive show we're getting here. Just for us. Just for my subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, it's not for you. Sorry to say. I record the people as they record. It's green, no one wants to drive. That is the tree, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the angels leading up to it. That's the famous Rockefeller Center tree with the music in the background. Come on. Come on. Don't ever say I didn't do anything for you. That's a sight you don't always see. I think I brought you to all the main attractions of holiday time, of Christmas time, in New York City. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm putting this video out unedited. I'm going to add in other clips of things I film. Hope you guys enjoyed. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I mean, no disrespect if I didn't mention your holiday. Have a good time with your family.